I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will take up six examples on long division and understand how to divide three digit number by single digit. The first one here is 654 divided by 4. Then we will divide 439 by 6 and then do 603 divided by 8. You can always pause the video solve these questions and then look into my suggestions. Now 6 is greater than 4 so 6 can be divided by 4. It goes 1 time so 1 times 4 is 4. Now the second step is we have to take away so you just take away 4 from 6 you get 2. Then bring down the next number which is 5 right so bring down 5. It becomes 25. Now we have to again repeat this step. We have to see how many times will 4 go into 25. 4 times 6 is 24. So we get 4 times 6. Place 6 in the quotient, the answer part, and then write 24. And then again take away. So when you take away 24 from 25, you get 1. We still have one more number to go, the third digit. Bring it down now and place it adjacent to 1. It becomes 14. Repeat the step. Divide 14 by 4. 4 times 3 is 12. We have to put a number which is smaller but closest. 4 times 4 will be 16. Next is higher. So that is maximum which can be placed in the quotient, right? So what we get here, remainder of 2. So now we can write that 654 divided by 4 is equal to 163 remainder 2. Is that correct? Now, in this particular example, there are some terms which you may like to remember. What we divide by is called divisor. what we get is quotient. This is the remainder. And what you divide is called, in both cases, we'll write them as dividend. So these are technical names which we use to describe division. Now, you follow this method and do the next two yourself. Here is how you could do it. Now here, 4 is smaller than 6. So you have to now take two numbers at a time. So instead of just doing 4, which cannot be divided by 6, you will take 43. So 43, both of them together, could go 7 times. Write 7 above 3, showing that you have taken two numbers. 6 times 7 is 42 and when you take away you get number 1. Now bring down the next digit which is 9. Place it with 1 it becomes 19. 6 times 3 is 18 and when you take away 18 you get 1 as your remainder. So now what you see here is that the remainder is 1. The quotient is 73. Now this quotient is also treated as answer. Sometimes you may have to answer, write down the answer to the nearest decimal so you can round, okay? Now let's write down this solution which is 439, it could be written as divided by 6 is equal to 73 remainder 1. Is it okay? Now, if you get a remainder, that means 439 is not a multiple of 6. Here also we got some remainder. So 654 is not a multiple of 4. Now let's do the next one. 603. 6 is smaller than 8. So let's take 2 digits. 6, 60 will be divided by 8 now. So 8 times 8 is 64, which is bigger. So we'll try 8 times 7, which is 56. So when you do 56 and take away from 60, you get 4. You don't really have to write a takeaway sign. 
Now bring down 3, it becomes 43. 8 times 5 is 40, the remainder being 3. Is that clear? So we could write this as 603 divided by 8 is equals to 75 plus 3 over 8. So that's another way you could write the same thing, right? So 3 divided by 8 is left as a remainder. So these are different ways in which you can write your division statement, right? So let me introduce here the term division statement, right? So what is a division statement? All these kinds of statements are division statements. But generally, we will prefer to write this as dividend divided by the divisor. That's the division part. Is equals to quotient. Quotient plus remainder. divided by the divisor. Do you see that is how the division statement will be written just as we almost wrote in the third example. You could also write this division statement as a multiplication statement which we will do uh, in solving the next three examples. So let's take more examples. Here are a few more. Now these examples uh, may have some multiples. Let's see how to work with these examples. 450 is to be divided by 9. 4 is smaller than 9, so we'll take two numbers at a time. So let me take 45. 9 times 5 is 45. So when you take away 45 from 45, you get 0. And then now you have to bring down the next 0. Now you get 0, 0. What should you do now? 9 times 0 is 0, right? So don't hesitate to do this step. 9 times 0 is 0. And now the remainder is 0. Now here, 450 is a multiple of 9, correct? So what do we get here? We get 450 divided by 9 is equal to the answer, 50. Perfect. Since the remainder is 0, right? So you note that 450 is a multiple of 9. So if it is a multiple, remainder is 0. Do you see that? So what we see here is that this remainder is 0. Is that clear? Now let's take up the next example. We'll divide 5 to 3 by 4. 5 is greater than 4, so one number could be taken. 4 times 1 is 4. When you take away 4 from 5, you get 1. Bring down the next, 12. Now, 4 goes perfectly with 12. 4 times 3 is 12. Now, again, you get a 0. Well, if you get a 0, don't stop. We still have one more number to go, right? So, we have to bring down this number and divide it further. Well, 4 cannot be divided into 3. 3 is smaller. But you could always write 0 here. 4 times 0 is 0. And now you get remainder of 3. Do you see that? So now the remainder is 3. That is how it should be done. So another form of division statement is to write it as a multiplication, right? So you could also write your answer as 523 is equal to 4 times 130 plus 3. Now if you write in this fashion, it is the multiplication form of the division statement right 523 is 4 times 130 plus 3 let's do the next one 3 to 6 divided by 2 3 is bigger than greater than 2 so it goes 1 times when you take away you get 1 bring down 2 it goes 6 times 6 times 2 is 12 and you get 0 bring down 6 we should not stop here right so when you divide 6 by 2, it goes 3 times. 2 times 3 is 6. And now again, remainder is 0. So we say that 326 is a multiple of 2, right? So we get 326 
is multiple of 2 correct and you could write this as 326 divided by 2 is indeed equals to 163 the quotient perfect so I hope with these examples you get some idea of long division feel free to write your comments write down a few questions just as I took at random practice division I hope that helps thanks for watching and all the best